Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. Yes, we're going to take a look at a low-budget, no-budget film called Mad Cowgirl. Now, it's an underground cinema. It's kind of got a cult following, and basically we're told the story of Teresa, who is a health inspector, meat inspector for meat processing, you know, butcher shops and such. Well, this is during the outbreak of possible mad cow disease in Canadian beef, and she ends up getting some of this tainted beef fed to her, and it causes her to get mad cow disease, and she goes crazy, and we see how things affect her life from there. Ah, folks, Sarah uh, Lassez, or Lassay, I may have mispronounced it, I apologize, but who plays Teresa? Solid performance from her. I loved her acting in this. Uh, you know, she's she's an actress who's got a really uh, interesting body of independent work, and I, she just does really well in the role of Teresa. Great, solid character. Uh, you really buy into the insanity that's going on in her head, and she just really well done. You can tell she's putting her all into this, and she's treating this like a real film, not like some actors do, who say, oh, we're doing a B film, so they don't try. She's really trying. In fact, all the performers in here do really well. You've got James Duvall in here, who was in Donnie Darko. Uh, you've got Prepare yourself, Walter, Walter Cohen. Yes, check off himself. Sans Russian accent is in this playing a sleazy pastor who has a relationship with Teresa, um, which is a role you never would have thought him in in a movie you never would have thought him in. I mean, this has all the elements of your exploitation 70s film. You got your nudity, you got your gore, you got your kind of crazy storyline, but all the performances are a lot better acted than those types of films. So props there to the performance. Gregory Hadanaka, who wrote and directed this, had all the elements there to make just really great kind of send-up exploitation film. The problem I had in it was he went all artsy-fartsy with some of the direction. Uh, the, the Teresa character, she's obsessed with this uh, kung fu film, which was a great little send-up to uh, those cheesy uh, kung fu films with the girl with the thunderbolt kick. Loved those bits of it as well. Uh, and But Teresa, as she goes wild, thinks she's got to fight these people. And, you know, it just took away from the film. You didn't need that part in there. Now, I know what he was going for as far as getting the insanity of what, you know, as her brain deteriorates from mad cow disease. But, you know, he had all these great solid bits, and then you kind of get artsy with the direction, and then you get these solid bits again. Just cut out the artsy parts. Don't need to go there and still get your point across because you're getting such a solid performance from your actors. So that part took me away a bit from Mad Cowgirl, especially near the end. I know she was going a little more insane, so we had to get a little more crazy with the editing, but it kind of took me away, made you just kind of going, huh? So Mad Cowgirl, uh, it is... Uh, not, I don't know if you know about it out there, but some of those who are follow underground cinema may know about the film. If you're a fan of independent film looking for something different, you may want to check out Mad Cow Girl. If nothing else, for the performance of Sarah uh, Lassez, uh, who does great in this, and I look forward to uh, looking up some of her other works and seeing uh, her there because she's a great actress and definitely helps carry this film. And Walter Cohen as a sleazy uh, pastor. I mean, how can you pass that one up? And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep it.